I can be more than me, what the eyes cannot see. I can be the person within. I can reach, I can reach the heights unseen. I will be the person within. I will learn, I'll learn. Education is key. I will learn, I'll learn to be me. Education will set me free, set me free. Some children are born in circumstances that give them a better start in life. But not every child is this lucky. The Shelter for Education team first visited St. Joseph's School in Oboase, Ashanti region, which has a unique story. St. Joseph's is home to a special group of children who are not only facing personal challenges but have major infrastructural problems with their school. With two mentally challenged siblings at the school, Winifred is determined to change things with the support of Tigo. My name is Winifred Mensawari. I'm 22 years of age. I come from Oboasi in the Ashanti region. I have five siblings and then I have Williams and Beverly who attends a Joseph School of Needs. They don't have any class because they just go to school because of their condition. I think ever since I was young, I used to see them to be different from other children. Like the way they behave, especially the other one. He behaves sometimes very aggressively. And that's not how other children behave. And then the younger one also behaves in a certain way like that I can't even express it. Because you see her to be normal sometimes, and then other times you see her and don't even think that she's normal. She behaves abnormally sometimes. It has affected me a lot because sometimes I don't usually go out with friends because of their condition. I have to be with him. Even he can't do anything for himself. Talking about eating, bathing, everything, you have to be with him. Because for him, he cannot do anything. But for the younger one, she can go and buy food for herself, even though she cannot talk to us. But when you write it for her, she can go and buy it in the mail. Sometimes in the morning when you are taking them to school, people see you and they feel like, I don't know whether they see us to be coming from another planet or we are different. The way they look at you even tells you a lot. They look at you in a different way. And sometimes we used to take him to church, but because of the, the way people react when they see us, we have stopped going to church with them, especially where we live right now. Because of my two siblings, people are still going to the bathhouse with us. Because they are seeing that when they bath in the same bathhouse, they will be affected so many things. Even the toilet, they have just given one to us because of my two siblings. I think it was seven years ago when we heard about the school. When the school was starting at, in the beginning, they didn't have any kids. So Williams and Beverly was the first person to be accepted in that school. So they had the first admission in the school. So other kids came. In the beginning, we used, they used to have more than 25 kids. But the room was very small. And looking at some of the conditions of some of the children, some cannot even walk. Some are just lying down. So the teachers were having problems because they were only two. Um, but as I came, what I've come to realize with regard to their children is that they are having different, different kinds of uh, disability. Some are having learning disabilities, others are having behavior disorders, others are having autism and cerebral palsy. And so handling them as a teacher has been very difficult over the years that I've been with them. Some of them cannot even feed on their own, let alone take care of themselves if they want to go to the toilet. So some of them have to defecate on themselves, and the teacher have to take care of all those things, even wash their clothes, feed some of them. But because it's a challenge to the parents to have such children too, 
and also a challenge to the community. It's become difficult for them to open up and release their children for education. We have been writing to other institutions for help, just for expansion of the building, so that other kids can also join. So we wrote to the district assembly to help us with the roofing. So they accepted it. And then when they removed all the roof and tried to replace them back, the building just came down. This is the room we are using temporarily now. That the structure is not the best for us. But if you look at this side, so we are only careful. And then when you look at this side, too, very, very, very bad. So it has been a room that has been abandoned for some time. So you can see spots, chairs, and things. So we just have to use these old chairs to at least support it so that in case of anything, And this is the only government special school in the district. And this is how we have seen it. It's having a problem with that. Where we are staying right now, it's not conducive. I thought about my brothers, my siblings, and the entire students in the class, and then the teachers as well. So I thought about them, and then I decided to write for help. Maybe they can come and then help them with the building. Our classroom here will be very glad if it will be put in a better shape for us. Maybe starting from next academic term so that we can do our best and give them the best that they want. It's not the best for us at all. Upon all those letters I've written, not even a simple hello we have received your letter. But as for this, they called me. They gave me the assurance that they are not just calling me for calling sake but they will come and do what I have asked them to do. That made me very happy. Sometimes I go to a program for these children and then whenever I'm giving the chance, I always tell people around them that they should accept them for who they are. I'm going to the training college because of my siblings. Not only them, but for other children who are also in the same condition. I want to help them. I want to help people in the society to accept them. So my ambition is to just further my education and then come back and then help children with disability and other children who just needs a little help. <laughs> After Winifred's appeal, Tigo mobilized its Shelter for Education team to Obuasi. Within weeks, work started on St. Joseph's School for children with special needs. Tigo renovated the building and constructed two additional classrooms, a pantry and toilet facilities for the children. My name is Makma Tidoku. Tigo had an initiative to um, renovate schools and also build schools. Um, we were to undertake the renovation of this particular school building. When, 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 I, when I got here, I was, I was, I was, I don't know the word to use, but I was shocked that um, this building was in a state where kids are, are being taught in. And the building was virtually collapsed. I mean, two blocks were, were down. The whole idea was to just bring the whole building back to shape for the kids, for the kids to be able to have a conducive at, um, atmosphere to study. Um, it's, it's been quite challenging um, in terms of um, getting materials. So this is all the challenges that we've encountered.
this is KG1? KG1. So KG1 and KG2, KG2 were broken? We are broken yeah. Oh, okay. So that's why you KG2. had to break it and construct it. You know, with the issues with the kids, um, I think for this area, we, I, I suggest that we actually put a chain in fence here. So with this side, basically, it's just the internal, internal that we're going to do the ceiling. Okay. So it's going to run there, so we have to complete that one as well. And the chairs, when are they coming in? Um, in a few, a few days. You know, with the, the, the north inside, you have the concrete pillars. Mm -hmm. Why did we decide um, to go for this one? In the, in the, in the, when we came here, we realized that if we had to, it's going to change the whole structure. Uh, because it's a new structure that is being merged with an old structure. Right. And when we came, we met that they were using the poles. The poles, yes. okay. That the governor's poles they were using. Right. I don't see the roof hooked. Um, it's hooked. It's hooked. It's hooked. Just checking, I'm thinking that the side is slightly sloped. Okay. Um, it's the slope is a bit higher. Higher over there. Um, have you tested it? Yeah, we tested it. Rained, actually, it rained yesterday. Okay. And it helped us to know the pitfalls in, in the slopings. Right. So now what we're going to do is that we are going to break yeah. that edges a bit up it's so bit that it's not going to be down. Why the groove? Um, we realized yesterday, as I said, it rained. And we're just checking the, the, the problem that the water is going to have. The effect the water is going to have here, and we realized that when it when it dropped down, the sloping wasn't that sharp, so we just we just created a groove. But um, since we have some work to do here, I think you have to take it off. Yes. And we'll take it off, then then we slope it. I think you need to drop it a bit. A bit, yes. You know, so that you can actually get the water sloping in the other direction. Yes. Um, how old are the kids? Um. The kids are between the ages of, I think, 12, 6 and 12. Okay. Yeah, okay. 6 and 12. I was asking because of the height. The height, yes. Um, oh. Actually, it seems the teachers are the ones that we're going to use it often. Oh, because the so kids need to be, be um, okay, man, by the teachers. Yes, so they use it often. Oh. And also, normally they sit in the veranda to eat. Because so normally they come in the mornings, they sit in the, the, the kids sit in the veranda to eat. Oh, so you're creating? So this, 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 this opening. So you're going to have a big table? table. That they can sit here and eat. Okay, so the setup actually has the pipes. Yeah, pipes, yes. Uh, that's why initially you were saying you're going to use it for your disease. Okay. This one, uh, happens the way that when it's full, instead of opening the whole thing, you just open it so they put the uh, okay, tube in. But is it tight enough that the smell doesn't oh, yes, come in? Oh yes, it's very tight. One door, one... Um, and the teachers explained to me that most of the kids are aided when they come to the washroom. So actually we build this big opening so that they can, okay. they can move around okay. whilst they are here. So the kids are always manned by a teacher then? Yes, most of the time. Okay. Most of the time. Oh. I think the government cannot um, do all the uh, school infrastructure. This project that has been initiated by Tigo, I think it's a laudable one. And I think it's going to put smiles on the faces of communities and also ensure that our education is well entrenched and for kids to also have a very good um, infrastructure to study in. In, in. in general, I would say that the people have been very happy that we're giving this place a touch up and um, they've really liked it and supported us. It's been three months now and construction work at St. Joseph School for Children with Special Needs is complete. Winifred and her two siblings and the entire school are eager to see the transformation. All children can learn. That is my philosophy in life. But when it comes to people with special needs, it's a bit a challenge. If you look at their environment, which is not supportive. So having heard that Tigo is coming in to innovate and put 
the environment for their learning in shape. For me, that is a relief for me as far as uh, working with them is concerned. Winifred Mensah was not a special child, but how two siblings who are special children. My name is Deborah Tayakaku, CSR manager for Tigo Ghana. Um, this year, Tigo decided to focus on education as part of its corporate social responsibility initiatives. Education because we believe that for children to be able to attain a better future, we need to enable them in terms of education. Children need the right environment within which they can learn, within which they can be nurtured, within which they can develop. And so we decided on a project called Shelter for Education. Shelter for Education because we wanted to put a roof over where they are studying. And education is important to us because if we want to lift people out of poverty, um, education is one of the best means by which we can improve the standards of living. When I first got to Obwasi, I was quite shocked at the level of damage. Um, it meant that renovating the building wasn't enough. It meant pulling the entire structure down. And even beyond that, um, the teachers needed extra classrooms, they needed toilet facilities, they needed a pantry, they needed a lot of other things. And Wittigo needed to provide that. For the fact also that the children here were children living with disabilities, Winifred reached out to Tigo. Uh, she had two siblings in this school and she felt they were not learning within the right environment. They didn't have the infrastructure within which these children could learn. And so she reached out to Tigo if Tigo could support them in refurbishing the building, the school building within which the children living with disabilities were learning. Has God been so good, it was true. Yes, it was true. Indeed, it was true. And I felt very happy, more than excited. It was very, it was a good moment for me. To see what Igo did today, I am more than happy. I don't even know the kind of way to express what I feel inside. I think they have done something that I didn't expect to happen. I give glory to God. I know it's true God who made them do all these things for us. So I say thank you to Tigo and also thank you to God. After seeing all the games and the ball, especially my brother who saw the ball and then became so excited because he has been able to see the ball. It's very good. And I know that he's going to be happy for the rest of his life. I know a lot has been done to them and they are all going to feel happy. Not only them, other students and even the teachers as well. The teachers doing a great and wonderful job because having interacted with the kids today, I know it's, it's not been easy for them having to manage uh, these children. And I'll say kudos to all of them for their dedication, for their skills and expertise with which they've been able to mentor and train these children. I say they've done very well. Um, we saw its, de its deplorable state in the, in the initial stages and I'm really excited with what I'm seeing now. A lot of um, institutions don't actually give attention to children with, in this type of state, children with disabilities. Oh, first, no, 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 um, so this is something that we care very dearly about uh, and I foresee that we will be coming back um, to monitor to see that it's actually uh, yielding the fruit that we were expecting. Um, what this has uh, in, in terms of impact for, for us as a company, but more as for the community. And we will do that in, in all our schools. We feel like these are Tigo schools. We care about them, we love them, and we want to be involved.
Asomeli kwa ayem mama kwa ifise school na no mumu na inchansi no kwa pa tisi eti gua daruma wama ba be ye edano kama ye wobi mo ha omu ye disabu amufi ah tisi because of surface no na aye se omu incheda because omu ba kwa be be omu dia kwa ni e na bibi sa eni hanenti bibu kwa oha omu fa omu mbe school ha. But the way I just said, done a CFA. Nature said, Nyama, I'm going to be a flash cream. Nature said, facilities, I'm going to be a good one. I'm going to encourage it. I'm going to be a good one. 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 i am going to be Menia Jehopa, Yamisha Oma. Um, Edu may be near Diane, you know. I fade down, as I drew Guye. Now I bought for a bend on my boy, my mom was sit down, and I know the ye, near Nebby, and there are not classrooms, there are not Kuna, there are not books, and nay, teaching materials at the bachelor and Karana, the Ama at the Sia Cosso. Into the other kind of say that took up for us, or at the Fafa or Maya Mayan. I'm very grateful to God for this day and to the Tigo Ghana and Miss Winifred Mensa. For me, as a special educator, I always want to see that smile in the faces of the children. So if Tigo have put that smile in their faces, it behoves on me to sustain that uh, uh, smile. And because Tigo have not just come to renovate an empty room and it's gone, but they put things in the room that will sustain that uh, uh, joy or smile. Keep on doing what you are doing because you are really putting smile on the faces of children that otherwise people will not accept in society. You have accepted them and I'm happy for that. Words cannot explain what I can say to them. All I can say is may God richly bless them. May He bless them wherever they are. They told me it was just a smile, but this is more than a smile. And may God richly bless them. Education will set me free. 